Good morning everyone, welcome back to another episode of Jennifer Tries to Do Things. Today we're going hunting and then later on we're going to the hunt ball. So it's all rush, rush, rush. I've been trying to get myself ready because I don't go to events very often. I've wanted to do it well. So can you tell? I've had a spray tan. Um, so it's just this whole week has been a stress of me trying to get ready, trying to get the horse clipped and you know, everything. So. I haven't got much time. Last time I missed the meat. Today I'm gonna to try really hard not to miss the meat. So let's get some tack on this pony. Last time I went hunting, because it was the first time I'd ever been, I didn't want the stress of having to plat, because I've never platted a horse before. I don't really believe in it, I think it's unnecessary, but apparently you've got to to go hunting. So today has been the first time ever that I've platted myself, and it's taken me probably overall about two hours it took me an hour last night to get all the ponytails in and then it's taken me this morning ages to tweak it and get them all rolled up what can you do are we rolling yes but excuse me thank you you've um you've missed quite a lot this morning but i wouldn't worry about it most of it you wouldn't want to see anyway. It was me mucking out, which you've seen a hundred times. And then me not being very polite about this situation. But I think actually they look, that lighting's really bad. Just trust me. Just trust me, they look okay. Thanks to Olivia Towers and Elphick Event Ponies, their tutorials. He's had a little back massage as well this morning because that's it. He's a good boy. Get that off. Good boy. Right, how are we looking? I'll give you another little brush. You can tell I'm very new to hunting because, you know, I'm still trying to make an effort. I'm still trying to make sure I'm turned out well give it a few weeks, when they know me well enough, my true personality will come out and I'll be like, what's the point in that? I don't want to plat, what's the point in that? It's not gonna make him go any better or feel any better about himself, is it? So, but first impressions, you can only do once. And I don't want to be remembered as the scruff bag. And also I want them to see me looking good so that in a few weeks time when I look horrible, they'll still think, well, you know, when she puts effort in, she does look all right. And that's generally the basis on which I live my life. Right, Poppet, let's get some tack on you. Good boy. Well, if I was if I was show jumping I would have just tucked those in rather than actually putting them on but I'm a hunter now that's what we do we turn out well don't we do don't we gorgeous boy I did just, oh dear. That looks okay, doesn't it? <laughs> Time.
time check. 938. 938. 938, what does that mean? It means I need to load up. Because the meet's not until 11. Excuse me! Can we have a little bit of quiet? Thank you. The meet's not until 11, but considering I missed it two weeks ago, ten days ago. <clears throat> Boys! Considering I missed it last time, I'm getting there so early, so I better be the first one there. Be early, be keen, be seen, stay safe. Who would like a little sweetie? Sit. Good boy. Sit. Good boy. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Ah, sit. Okay. All right. We hold Dylan to slightly lower standards because he spent most of his life doing whatever he wants and I can't expect him now to be perfectly trained. Isn't he such a handsome boy? He's so beautiful. Even if I do say so myself, those plaits are phenomenal. Will they stay in? I don't know. I used hairspray and people don't generally seem to use hairspray and I'm sure I'll find out why, if there's a reason. So, gonna have a few... <laughs> Otis, <laughs> we're gonna have a few hours out hunting and then I need to come back, sort all the horses out for tonight and then get ready to go to a ball. And my dress is phenomenal. My seamstress has been busy sewing it all week. So I've been going for fittings and whatnot and it's beautiful, I can't wait to wear it. That's one beautiful boy, all aboard, ready to go. What do we think? Do I look like a hunter? Well, the reason I was late last time was because I spent ages figuring out how to tie, how to tie my stock in the back of the lorry. No, no, today I'm doing it at home. I'm getting everything done so that when I turn up, all I need, when I turn up, all I need to do is put my hat on and get on and that's it. So, rush, 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 guys. It's always a rush. I'm never calm and collected. Well, I am calm, inside I'm calm. Excuse me. Inside I'm calm, there's just a lot to get done and I don't want to be late, so I'm gonna go. Bye. She says she doesn't want to be late, but just in case any of you were wondering about my camera, um, it is broken, but I sort of fixed it, well, in a roundabout way. I followed a tutorial on YouTube of how to fix a Lumix camera, um, and it was a similar model number. It wasn't exactly the same, so I was doing all these little things with, um, a little scalpel, well I used a little screwdriver. And anyway, I've completely removed the lens shutters, which wasn't what the tutorial was trying to do. So I've broken it further, but it's kind of working. So the lens will just never close. And I don't see that being a problem as long as I can keep it relatively clean. I always feel so relaxed as soon as I get in the horse box, because it's like, everything's done, we just need to get there. And luckily this meet is about three miles down the road and I did consider hacking it but I thought a it can be dangerous to go off by yourself and you leave the pack um, and B I think he's gonna do enough work at the actual you know so I'd rather just load him up and take him and know that I can get home very easily I've not got to find a route home so that's why we're not hacking it but yeah I'm so excited about today it's been a long time since I mean with Covid and everything it's been so long since I've been to a proper event where I've got to wear a proper dress and I have gone I feel like I've gone all out with my dress it's like floor length teal silk it's just silk satin it's it's beautiful I've had a spray tan you know, I'm hopefully going to do my makeup quite nicely. Hopefully going to do my hair quite nicely, but this is all down to me and judging by the way I did my plants. We'll see. We're here. Punctual and plaited. Who'd have thought it? Jennifer Rebecca. Are you going to be a good boy? He's going to love it. He loves coming out. You love it, don't you? I think we should get on in a minute. A little bit silly filming now I'm here, but whatever. That's me, I am who I am. Dogs are ready. Hounds, sorry, hounds. If you ignore my shoddy plants, he's not looking too bad. Floofy ears. 
Let's go. One eternity later. So as it turns out, the hunt was really near my house. And I thought I'd just call it a day rather than ride back to the horse box, which would be another hour. I thought I'd go home because our boy, McAllister, he's not feeling it today. <laughs> so he's just been, I mean, he's been perfect at everything except for the jumping. The first fence, he jumped it enormous and launched me out the saddle. There was no way I was going to stay on. They actually jumped me out the saddle. So I fell off at the first fence and I, it's very annoying, but I can't really blame him because he did have a bit of an accident in a jump last time he went out. So I think he's just very aware of where he's putting his feet, which is a good thing. And if I'd have sat the first one, then we wouldn't have had a problem, I don't think. But because I fell off, it's like, that's put him off as well as his little accident last week, that's put him off. So today just wasn't the day. I got, managed to get him over two or three jumps, but everything else, it was like I was having to go through gates and get off and get back on and get off and get back on. And I just thought, I wanna get ready for the ball. Today's not the day to be having an argument. And if he's not enjoying it and I'm not enjoying it, what's the point? We're there to have fun. So we're going home. Jane's coming to take me to get my horse box later on and then we'll get ready for the ball. I am now home. I've picked up the horse box. The horses are in the field and I need to get out of these grubby clothes, have a shower, wash my hair really good because I want it to be super, super shiny and I might redo my nails. Maybe, maybe. maybe. I thought they'd be in a worse state than they are and they probably are. I probably could get away with them but I might just do another coat just to make sure we're looking really good. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be a bit naughty and leave the horses out in the field tonight. I might do it because the weather's gonna be good. It's gonna be dry. It's not that cold. I think it's like eight degrees all night. That's the lowest. They're rugged up. I'll give them a load of haylage because otherwise, this is my dilemma. I don't wanna wash my hair and then touch a horse. I wanna have a shower and pretend the horses don't exist. So there's no way, there's no way on earth I'm gonna get showered and all clean and ready and then go and put horses into the stables. So I either bring them in now at like two o'clock and leave them in until seven o'clock in the morning or they just stay out all night with a bit of extra food. I think that's, that's the one, ladies and gentlemen. Are you okay, baby? You recovered. <laughs> Why do you do that? You're so strange. No, that's not going to get me any more muddy, is it? Never mind. <laughs> you silly puppy. You silly puppy. Ugh. What's that naughty dill doing? Digging a hole. Dylan! What are you doing? Come here! Nope. That's really not that helpful, Dill. In the middle of a paddock. I'm now I've got to fill that in, aren't I? Come on. I don't think there's anything down there, Poppet. Thank you, Otis. Thank you. Dill! Baby Dill! Baby Dill! He just won't listen to me. I have no authority. Um, excuse me, boys. There's a spare bucket over there. Instead of both crowding into that one. Okay. Okay, that's horses done for the day. I'm gonna have a shower and just pretend that they don't exist and I've never seen a horse in my life. Okay, the dogs are now following. The horses have got plenty of food and plenty of water. Good night my little babies. I will see you in the morning. They've now worked it out, one each. Oh, no. I've never needed a cup of tea more than I do at this very moment. <laughs> Hello, sausage. What are you doing? <laughs> They've made such a mess. They've been chewing up their bed. What well, they? Otis, I don't think Dylan's been doing that, have you, my boy? Oh, babies. You're so jealous. Baby. 
eyes. If you didn't know I'd fallen off, do you think you would know? I don't think it's that obvious. I think I can pull it off. It's the new fash. Get on board. Do you know what? I need to stop faffing and I need to just get on with doing things. I'm procrastinating getting ready because I know it's going to take me a long time because I'm out of practice. I don't go to these kinds of things very often and I know I want to really look good and it's going to take a lot of effort. So here I am drinking a cup of tea. They told me that. They told me I wasn't going to get far. So I told him like this, look. My adversaries crumble when we rumble. It's a catastrophe on anybody who's trying to hate coming blasting me. I've been in this for a minute. See how I don't want to like grip my hair. Or whether it will just stay. Let them all know. Who came to rock the flow? Who knocks the most? Willis. I creep up on the thing. Man, you don't want to see me in the right, just me now. <laughs> see how I ride, I gotta do my thing. Check one, two on the mic, and when we go, you know there ain't no stopping us, right? Because we party every day, just like it's 1999. Watch me lean back. See how I ride, I gotta do my thing. Check one, two on the mic, and when we go, you know there ain't no stopping us, right? Because we party every day, just like it's 1999.